Hi everybody, it's me again, Mr. McNichol. Um, sorry it's taken me a couple of extra days to get your video lecture up. Hopefully everybody was able to read the announcements okay. I didn't get any that I recall. I'll check again, but I didn't get any email saying, Mr. McNichol, don't know what to do. So this is, once again, for the Integrated Reading Writing course. Um, what we're going to be doing when we meet tomorrow, Tuesday, at uh, 5 o'clock, we're going to be looking at, well, first off, your cover letter should have been sent. If it hasn't already, please get it in. Module 1, Lesson 3, Cover Letter. That's the name of the module it's in. Okay, So you'll upload it to that spot. If you're having trouble, email it to me straight or bring a paper copy on Tuesday night. Okay, but I think we're going to be doing okay with that. Uh, so, there were problems before, apparently. Some folks were trying to upload cover letters, and uh, the folks who had the um, curriculum before me, they had set this lesson so you only could send these cover letters if they were in PDF files, or if they were not, um, they were only files that couldn't be messed with at all, the way, say, a, um, a word processing file could be. If that was a problem, or if you tried taking a picture and you tried to upload it and it wouldn't work, okay, well, I think it should work now. <clears throat> I altered it on Thursday night to accept any files, so it should be working now. So please try and get those to me. Um, so yeah, remember the cover letter essentially is a thing with about five paragraphs telling an employer everything that's important about your resume and so forth, and about you as a person. So. That's the first thing. Uh, so again, it should be available. Just take your cover letter if you haven't and upload it to Module 1, Lesson 3, Cover Letter. Now the next thing we're going to be working on when we uh, meet on Tuesday night at 5 o'clock, we're going to be looking at uh, basically a kind of an essay that is used for the Common App. For those who haven't heard the term before, I'm hoping most of you have, the Common App is a, essentially a program you can use, and you can talk to your academic advisors about this. I heartily recommend it. Most of uh, the folks who come through TCC, TCC is a jumping off point for something else. Some of you will learn a skill, will learn a trade, just a TCC. A great many of you will be going on to another school after TCC, after you get some things done at TCC first. So, uh, the Common App is a program that allows you to apply to many different schools after TCC at once. You can have all your grades sent to four or five schools at once. And you can have your essays that you, many schools will ask you to write a short essay, like a cover letter, okay? so that you can understand, or they will understand, what kind of a person you are and also, you know, basically, what kind of a person are we going to be bringing on board here? So, we're going to be talking about how to make a college app essay. The first thing to understand, and I'll hit this again when we meet with each other, okay? They will give you several different kinds of prompts. Write me an essay about a family member or somebody who really affected your life in a significant way. Great. Okay, that's good. But here's the thing. You want to, in many cases, stand out. Because if you are applying for a school and they are limited in the number of slots, if there is competition for slots, the program I'm applying to at University of Dallas. I'm told they only accept an average of three people per year out of all those who apply. So I've got to keep my fingers crossed that I will be competitive. When it comes to your essay, okay, in the case of your essay, you want a college app essay to stand out among the rest. So again, um, a standard thing, I don't want to make light of this, but many people have said the death of this relative was a hugely affecting event in my life. Not doubting that it is for so many of us, but there are so many of essays, so many, such a huge number of essays with this topic given, 
there's actually a name that they give these. They call them the Dead Grandma Essays. Okay? Now again, I love both my grandmas very much. God rest their souls. Okay? However, I would not write an essay about how their passing affected me to get into a school because I know that so many schools get so many essays like that and I want to stand up and stand out on that. Okay, So I'll give you, for example, the topic that got me into one of my schools. Okay, It is a dead relative essay, but it's a little bit different. Okay, But we're going to be looking at copies that I will be giving you of essays that got people into top tier schools like Harvard and Yale. Okay? And you will see, and you might be surprised at some of the topics that were chosen. Okay? Not the kinds that you might think. And that's kind of what you want to do. Think, as they say, outside the box. Think of something that affected you that not everyone else is going to do. That they are not going to see a hundred of them. Be it the passing away of your grandmother, Oh, well, I understood this about myself. Okay? So long as it's not something that 50 other people have done. Okay? We'll talk about it when we meet. You will be getting just kind of randomly assigned essays to tear apart and analyze, and you'll have a partner doing that with you. And we'll see just how much needs to go involved into writing an essay for the Common App so that you can be jumping on to another school even if you don't plan to right now, it's always good to have the skill in case you decide to later on. Okay, thanks so much, folks. I'll see you on Tuesday night. Take care.